Why amputations in ancient Egypt? Amputations in ancient Egypt were performed for various reasons, including severe injuries, infections, tumors, and other conditions where the affected limb was beyond repair or posed a threat to the individual's life. We can infer their occurrence based on archaeological findings, medical texts, and historical accounts. Here are a few examples. Before we go please take a moment to subscribe to this channel for more ancient medicine insights. One of the most notable examples of ancient Egyptian amputation is the case of the healed priest, discovered in Thebes, modern-day Luxor. The individual's skeleton, found in a tomb dating back to around 1000 BCE, showed evidence of a severe injury to the left shoulder and upper arm, likely due to a traumatic event. Archaeologists found signs that the injured arm was amputated, probably to prevent infection or save the individual's life. Despite the loss of the arm, the person survived for several years after the amputation, indicating successful adaptation and care. Archaeological excavations have uncovered skeletal remains with evidence of healed amputations in various parts of ancient Egypt. For example, skeletal remains found in burial sites and tombs sometimes show the absence of limbs or evidence of healed amputation wounds, indicating that amputations were indeed performed in ancient Egyptian society. While not providing direct examples, ancient Egyptian medical texts such as the Edwin Smith Papyrus and the Ebers Papyrus contain descriptions of surgical procedures and treatments that include references to injuries and conditions that may have required amputations. These texts offer insights into the medical knowledge, practices, and beliefs of ancient Egyptian physicians regarding surgical interventions. Artifacts such as reliefs, paintings, and sculptures from ancient Egypt occasionally depict individuals with missing limbs or impairments, suggesting that amputations and disabilities were recognized and represented in ancient Egyptian society. While specific examples of amputations in ancient Egypt may not be extensively documented, the evidence from archaeological findings, medical texts, and visual representations indicates that amputations were indeed performed in ancient Egyptian society for various medical reasons, highlighting the advanced medical knowledge and surgical skills of ancient Egyptian physicians. In ancient Egypt, amputations and other surgical procedures were typically performed by skilled physicians known as SWNW or SWNW, pronounced Suno or Sunu, which translates to doctors or surgeons. These ancient Egyptian physicians underwent extensive training and apprenticeship to acquire the necessary knowledge and skills for medical practice, including surgical procedures like amputations. Tools. Ancient Egyptian surgeons likely used a variety of tools and instruments for surgical procedures, including amputations. These tools might have included knives, scalpels, saws, and other cutting instruments made from materials such as bronze, copper, or flint. In ancient Egypt, the use of anesthesia as we know it today did not exist. There is limited evidence to suggest that ancient Egyptian physicians may have used herbal remedies, narcotics, or alcoholic beverages to dull pain or induce a state of unconsciousness during surgical procedures. However, the extent to which anesthesia was used in ancient Egyptian surgery remains uncertain, and it's likely that patients experienced significant pain and discomfort during surgical interventions. Methods Surgical procedures in ancient Egypt were performed in various settings, including temples, homes, or specialized medical facilities. Before the procedure, patients may have been given treatments to reduce pain or discomfort, such as herbal preparations or topical applications. During the surgery itself, the surgeon would have used sharp instruments to perform the amputation, taking care to minimize bleeding and tissue damage. After the procedure, patients would have received post-operative care and treatments to promote healing and prevent infection. While ancient Egyptian surgeons demonstrated considerable skill and knowledge in performing surgical procedures, including amputations, their methods and tools were primitive compared to modern surgical techniques. Despite the lack of advanced medical technology and anesthesia, ancient Egyptian physicians were able to perform surgical interventions and provide medical care to the best of their abilities given the resources and knowledge available at the time.